What's up everybody? I'm here at Wind Creek State Park in Alabama for the 2023 Alabama Bass Trail Tournament season kickoff. South Division right here on Lake Martin. Want to give you a quick recap of our tournament. We finished mid-pack with only seven and a half pounds. Real close tournament. Uh, the winner was 16 something, second place was 14 something, third place was 12 something, uh, tenth place was 10 and a half, and from 10 and a half all the way to where we were at seven and a half was midfield. It was stacked uh, by ounces all the way up. Uh, we went out practicing on Thursday. We got in Wednesday, uh, coming in from Louisiana. Got here Wednesday, went out Thursday, practiced. Found a few spots that we liked, marked them, caught fish on every spot that we tried in practice. Went back to those spots on tournament day and we caught fish on every single spot. They just weren't the size fish that we caught during practice. Wanted to show you the baits I was throwing. I was using the Bill Lewis Lures MR12 series crankbait in the strawberry craw color. Beautiful bait. This one dives down 12 foot. Throwing it on my Daiwa Tatula rod and reel. Got that one strung up with High Seas Grand Slam, the fluorocarbon coated mono. Running 15 pound test on that one. The other bait I was throwing was, I was Carolina rigging a V&M Wild Crawl in the Alabama Crawl color. Had it pegged off with a Wu Tungsten uh, quarter ounce. I was going light. I wanted to get it down, but I didn't want it to get hung up in the rock. Every area we found we were targeting was rock piles and humps underwater that went up onto shallow flats coming off of points. Every spot we went to during practice, we caught fish, two and a half, three pounders. Went right back to those spots on tournament morning and got fogged in on our very first spot. We ended up having to sit on it for over two hours waiting for the fog to lift. It lifted just enough for us to get to spot number two, but the fog didn't actually burn off until midday that day. So it was a really slow event. We get to the first spot. Within minutes, I had the first fish in the boat with that uh, strawberry craw MR12. Uh, I was also throwing the MR6 version of that one. And then when we got into the shallower areas, I actually switched it up and I went to an SB57 with the glitter craw color. Their um, red glitter craw. <clears throat> but this one right here, the wild craw, Alabama craw and the MR12 Strawberry Craw Crankbait. Those were the two key ones for me. Like I said, the fish weren't as big on tournament day. I don't know if they just, bigger ones moved out, sat a little bit further out um, or what. We just couldn't get them to bite. Later on that day, it got real, real slow. So I broke out the last resort. <laughs> and I went to a Wu Tungsten Shaky Head with a V&M pork pin in the watermelon red color. That was kind of my Hail Mary to try to catch a few bigger ones. Uh, I was able to upgrade two off of that one, but I mean, from a pound and a quarter to a pound and three quarters isn't really an upgrade in my book. Um, yeah, it does move us up, but we're only moving up by ounces, where I'd prefer to move up by pounds. Um, but what separated us from where we finished mid-pack to cutting a check was less than two pounds. Like I said, it was a game of ounces this past weekend and we just uh, came up a little short, but getting ready for Lay Lake in two weeks. Um, so I'm gonna stay right here at Wind Creek and I'm gonna go hit the lake a little bit more. Then we're gonna head over to Lay Lake. We've got our next event coming up and I'll give y'all an update on that one once that one's done. See y'all then.